Welcome to the spoken tutorial on grading quiz in Moodle. In this tutorial, we will learn how to review quiz attempts submitted by students, edit questions in a quiz, regrade attempts, delete quiz attempts, and download quiz results. This tutorial is recorded using Ubuntu Linux OS 16.04, Apache MariaDB and PHP obtained through XAMPP 5.6.30, Moodle 3.3, and Firefox web browser. You may use any web browser of your choice. However, Internet Explorer should be avoided as it causes some display inconsistencies. This tutorial assumes that your site administrator has registered you as a teacher and assigned at least one course to you. It also assumes that you have added some course material, assignments and quizzes for your course and you have some student logins. If not, please refer to the relevant Moodle tutorials on this website. Let me show you how a student will attempt the quiz that we created earlier in the series. I have logged in as student Priya Sinha right now. I will click on Calculus under My Courses. Then I will click on Quiz 1, Evolutes and Involutes. I will click on Attempt Quiz Now button and then confirm my selection. The question paper is presented to me. On the right, we see the quiz navigation block. It displays all the question numbers, the timer and the finish attempt link. The questions in the first page are highlighted in the quiz navigation block. I will begin attempting questions in both the sections. There are buttons for previous and next pages depending on which page you are in. Let me attempt the questions. I can go back to any question if I need to review it from the quiz navigation block. On the left of the question, notice that there is an option to flag the question. A flagged question has a red triangle at the top right of the question. One can flag a question in order to go back and review it later before submitting the attempt or to discuss the topic with the teacher. The question will remain flagged until the student specifically removes the flag. There are some other markers related to quiz questions. A grey marker indicates an answered question. A small red triangle below the question number indicates an incomplete answer. A totally white box indicates an unanswered question. As mentioned earlier, I can click on any question to go back to that question. When I am done, I will click on Finish Attempt link in the quiz navigation block. I can also click on Finish Attempt button at the end of the quiz. Click on Submit All and Finish button and confirm my selection. Students can see the marks and grades scored in a quiz right after the submission. The quiz navigation block also has color-coded number boxes. A green marker with a tick mark indicates correct answer. A red marker indicates either a wrong or unattempted question. A brown marker with a white circle indicates a partially correct answer. A red triangle marker at the top right is for flagged questions. Let us go back to the course page by clicking on Calculus in the breadcrumbs. Let me click on the quiz name. 
I can see my attempt here and a review link. I can review my quiz attempt by clicking on the review link. Scroll down to see the feedback given for every answer. This is a general feedback that every student sees after their attempt. Let me log out of this student's dashboard. Before reviewing the quiz as a teacher, ensure that all your students have attempted the quiz. Pause the tutorial and attempt the quiz for at least five students before proceeding further. I have already done so for my students. Now, I will log in as teacher Rebecca Raymond. Click on Calculus under My Courses on the left. Scroll down and click on Quiz 1 Evolutes and Involutes. You can see quiz description and quiz timeline in this page. The number of attempts are also listed here. In my case, it is 5. Now, click on Attempts link. There are some filters at the top of the page, which are self-explanatory. You can use these if there are many students enrolled in your course. I will leave them as they are and scroll down. Let me close the navigation menu on the left for better view. Notice that all the attempts are listed in a table here. Click on Review Attempt link below Priya Sinha's name. You may see a different set of questions than the ones I see. That is because we added random questions from the question bank while creating the quiz. The students will see different questions or a different order of questions when they attempt. We can see a brief overview of the attempt. Priya Sinha finished the quiz in 3 minutes and 12 seconds. She also got 1.2 out of 4 marks and 30%. This will give you an idea of how the student performed in the quiz. Look at the quiz navigation block at the right. The green box with a tick mark indicates that the student got full marks for the answer. The red box indicates that the student answered the question incorrectly. The brown box with a white circle in between indicates partially correct answer. You can go to any question directly by clicking on that question number. You can also change the layout if you want to show the questions one page at a time. You can see the answers and the marks scored against each question. You can also see the common feedback shown to the student. There is also a response history with a log of what the student did. Notice here that the student saved this answer once before finally submitting it. As a teacher, you can add a specific comment for any answer if you wish to. You can also overwrite the marks. Let's see how to do this. Click on Make Comment or Override Marks link below the Common Feedback section. A new window opens up. Type the desired comment as shown here. I will also change the marks as shown here. Scroll down and click on the Save button. Your comment is now shown below the common feedback. Response history also has a log of the changes you made. Notice that the marks and grade have also changed based on your new manual grading. You can also edit a question from an attempt itself. Click on Edit Question link on the left. This will take you to the edit screen where you can make changes to the question. You can also change the options of grades associated with it. Note that this will change the question for all students who have already attempted the quiz. This will also change the question for future quizzes. I realize now 
that I had marked the wrong answer while creating this quiz. I will change the grade for these two options. Click on Save Changes button when done. Click on Finish Review link when you are done. Click on Attempts link again. If you changed any question, you should regrade the attempts based on the new grading. Click on Regrade All button. You will see a message Regrade completed successfully. Click on Continue button. Notice that the grade for that question changed for some of the students. You can also delete a particular attempt if you wish to. Click on the checkbox next to the name of the student whose attempt you want to delete. Then click on Delete Selected Attempts button. But I will not do this right now. The teacher also has the option to download all the attempts in various file formats. Let me demonstrate how. Scroll up to the section What to include in the report. I can filter the reports based on various criteria. Let me download the report for all enrolled students who have attempted the quiz. I will uncheck rest of the checkboxes under attempts that are to narrow it down to see the finished reports. Click on show report button. Click on the drop down download table data as at the top right above the report table. Select open document dot ods from the options. Then click on the download button next to it. Save the file on your local machine. Let me open the file. You can see the details of the attempts here. With this, we come to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learned how to review quiz attempts submitted by students, edit questions in a quiz, regrade attempts, delete quiz attempts, and download quiz results. Here is a small assignment for you. Review the attempt of any other student. Post question specific comments. The video at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The spoken tutorial project team conducts workshops and gives certificates. For more details, please write to us. Please post your timed queries in this forum. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by NMEICT, MHRD, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at the link shown. This script has been contributed by Priyanka. And this is Nancy Verki along with the Spoken Tutorial team signing off. Thanks for joining.